Hey, today we've got a question about strumming and rhythm from Antarishk. I hope I pronounced that right now. He says, nice video, Neil. Can you make a video on how to strum the guitar on the basis of the rhythm and timing of a song correctly? And he goes on to say, I hope I interpret this rightly, I'm having difficulty in strumming and changing chords while playing to the metronome because I'm not able to understand when to strum and when not to during practice. All right, this is a great question because whenever we play a song, we need to first understand how the rhythm of it works and then our strumming technique can flow very naturally. Now, this is something that I teach my students in person as well and I want to share it with you. There are three speeds that I want us to unlock when we're playing any song. Now, before we get into any song, let's just come up with a simple chord progression. All right, so we've got a G, we've got a D, all right, or D, D here, E minor and a C. Now you can strum this like this, it's just, it's just a 4-4 four, four song, we can just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, notice I'm strumming on the beat, just one strum every beat. Now that, that I will call speed number 1. Now, speed number two is when we start to add in uh, one subdivision, right? We're subdividing that beat into now two. So each beat is going to have two subdivisions inside. So we're going to count it like this. One and two and three and four and. Now notice on the end, I'm doing an upstroke, right? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that's because we don't want to do down, 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 right? That's not very um, efficient. You won't be able to play very fast or smoothly if you're just doing down strokes consistently. What goes down must come up, okay? So we're going to do it like this. Down, up, down, all right? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's speed number two. Now, we need to unlock speed number three as well, and that's when we subdivide it further from two subdivisions into four subdivisions, and we're going to count it like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Notice I'm doing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, all the way, like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. All right, now that you've unlocked speed three, then now whenever you play any song, you're not gonna be playing all of these subdivisions, but you need to be able to feel all of these subdivisions. All right, so let's let's take an example. Um, a song that I like to use is "Collide" by Howie D. Let me just grab my capo. <laughs> all right, so I think uh, the original key is up here with the capo on number four, playing in G major. Alright, so now the song is like this. The dawn is breaking, a light shining through. Alright, so notice that one, I'm just playing the chords for you, but if you were to play speed number one, it's like this. The dawn is breaking, a light shining through. Now let's go to speed number two, okay? The dawn is breaking A light shining through Okay, let's try speed number four The dawn is breaking A light shining through Alright, so now we can feel the subdivisions. It doesn't really sound very good because it's a bit too much strumming happening. Now, what I was saying is that you need to be able to feel the subdivisions but not play them all the time. And this is the effect. So our hand is just going to go down, up, down, up, down up at level three, right? Speed three all the time. But I'm not going to be strumming all the, the down ups, right? I'm going to just play some accent, some remove some, sometimes it'll be quiet. And this is how the strumming pattern will sound like. Notice my arm, my hand, it's doing down up, down up all the way. 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a. But I'm only making some of the strums hit the strings, alright? And then that creates our song. The dawn is breaking. A light shining through. You're barely. Let's go to 
chorus Even the best for town sometimes And even the wrong words seem to rhyme The back you've fallen time You finally find that you and I collide And a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a so what you need to do is to feel the subdivision and you can apply this to any other song. Now let's try a different song. Um, let's see. Um, another song. Ah, Viva La Vida. Okay, so Viva La Vida is a good example because it's got a very interesting rhythm that's very, very distinct to the song. So let's say that the rhythm that we are all familiar with is this. I just picked a random key. I don't actually know what know what key the song is in. But anyway, I used to rule the world. Da 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 da. All right. So I, I forgot the lyrics. Please forgive me. Um. But anyway, we're focusing on the strumming pattern now. We we know that that's the rhythm in our hits. But what we need to feel is the subdivisions, right? One e and a two. So the rhythm is. I used to do the world. Now notice the beats are very fast. It's a fast tempo. We can't really get to speed number three because there will be one year and a two year and a three year and a four year. There's going to be one year and a two year and a three year and a four year and a one year. And a three. That's too fast. So we just get to speed number two. That's good enough. So we're going to do it like this. I used to rule the world. They had a fear from the da 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 da. Alright, now, because that's just speed 2, but we, we're not really getting the rhythm yet, but we need to know where the accents are, and that will inform us where it's going to be a downstroke or an upstroke, alright? It's like this. Upstroke. Down, 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 up, 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 up. So because we are we're doing this speed number two, down up, down up, down up, we don't even need to think anymore about which is actually down or which is up because your hand is just going to be doing down up, down up all the while and your musical ear who knows the rhythm of that song is going to immediately know which one to actually sound the strum. All right, now you can apply this also to different meters. Now let's try the song Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Now this is in uh, 6-8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, so we're going to count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6. This is speed number 2. Now, if you just play all the subdivisions, this is what it will sound like. <laughs> I found a love for me Darling, just die right in Follow my lead Now that doesn't sound very good because the guitar is too overwhelming and too overbearing. So again, apply the same thing. We can feel the rhythm, but don't play every single strum. And we'll get something like this. Make it very subtle and very nuanced like this. Play around with the dynamics, some loud accents, soft little strums here and there. Let's begin our song. I found a love for me, darling, just dive right in, follow my lead, and we just kids when we fail in love, not knowing what in words I will not give you up this time. All right, I played the wrong chord there, but anyway, that's the idea. The rhythm is the point. All right, so I hope this has been helpful to you, Antarishk. All right, if you have any more questions for everyone, just let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help all of you out. Now, if you want to study fingerstyle guitar with me, how to arrange songs on solo fingerstyle guitar, then check out the Fingerstyle for the World course. I'll put the link in the description below, all right? So have a great day, and yeah, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.